Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're gonna get the Foz out of the garage, finally. All right guys, getting an early start on this video. It's about 15 minutes to midnight. What I wanna do is actually put some sealant on the wastegate that's down here. So when I come back after work tomorrow, it should be dry, should be no leaks, and we can get it out to give it a wash. Every time I lift my bonnet up now, I nearly throw it through the roof because I keep forgetting I got the struts there. So I'm gonna to have to jack up this corner to get down there easily to undo the wastegate. So uh, I'll just use my little scissor jack because my trolley jack isn't working very well. Alright, uh, it's got some sealant on it. Hopefully it's all tightened up properly. I'm just going to leave this corner jacked up until um, I get it started and make sure there's no leaking. So now I'm going to put this coolant line back on from here to here. All right guys, so I actually measured it for 600 mil and uh, I ended up getting 750. So I actually just tucked it in there. I think it looks a lot neater. If it was 600, it would come across here more. Just like this overflow one. Looks like I could get a longer one for that. So I could run down there. All right, just putting some coolant in. So I'm actually gonna leave that. And I'm going to go to bed because it's past midnight. Come back tomorrow and get her started and get her out and see what's going on with this cold start. It's running pretty rough. I need to bring the idle up. As uh, some of you guys saw on TikTok, the GT35 was a bit rattly. Might have been the whole thing, but because it's up a little bit, probably magnified. When the engine comes out next, when we're doing the cams, um, I will replace the engine mounts. Hi right guys, I'm back. It's pretty much straight after work. The coolant hasn't gone down anymore, so we'll get that off, get rid of that. Give it a start up, see if it's still leaking from around the wastegate. If it's not, we're gonna try to back it out. Well, I just spilt it everywhere. <laughs> Moved the bucket and it just splashed. All right, so we're just gonna do a little start up. So I can just feel around the wastegate, see if it's toughing out. If it's not, I'll turn it off. If it's still jacked up, I'll bring it down and then I'll reverse it out. It's still coming out of somewhere. That's annoying. Still leaking from the same spot. It's really annoying, but uh, I think I might just take that wastegate off and seal it properly. I'm gonna just push the pipe out of the way and seal three quarters of it. Not very well. I just sealed that up, so I'll let it set for a little bit and come back later and get the foz out of the garage. All right, I'm back. It's nine o'clock now, so hopefully it's dried up a little bit. Give it a quick start, feel around for it again, and if it's all good, I'll drop it down and we'll jump onto the laptop and see if I can bring up the idle a little bit. It's uh, a bit low. All right, guys, just had it running and it's good leak free down there pretty sure we'll find some other leaks the AEM gauge running off this one it's an O2 sensor here said it was 13.3 so we're running a bit rich so let's get on the computer have a little play around I'm gonna drop the car down now probably won't get it out tonight it is nine o'clock so hopefully tomorrow I'll definitely reverse it out tomorrow all right guys been filling around a little bit uh, it's about 10 30 now we still have Damn, we all leak. Bit of uh, leakage through this V-band, and I think the wastegate is leaking as well. We gotta fix those leaks, and uh, it's a bit warm down there now. I should be able to get to that flange from or the V-band from behind. I have to use sealant on the, the old wastegate. It's not flat. I don't have anything to get it flat. Alright, guys. As you can tell, it's a bit smoky in here. I did have the car running for a while, and it's actually the paint on the turbos that are smoking, heating up, baking on there, and also a little bit of exhaust leaking out from the GT35 and the wastegate, so we're going to have to let them cool down, and uh, we'll seal them up. Tomorrow, we should get her out. No coolant leak. I fixed that oil leak too. There's um, it a crush washer on the, the banjo. It's the wrong size. Got heaps of them anyway. Swap that over. All right, guys. I ended up coming back out here after the smoke had cleared. 
I got the dumper off and I got the wastegate off and sealed both of them and got them back on. Drop the car back down, ready for tomorrow when I get home. I'm gonna go to bed. It's after midnight now, so see you soon. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh today at work I played around with the gauge pod, so been sanding that down, filling that, so trying to get that done. And been going through my course from HPA. So uh we'll try to get this idle good tonight and then I'll get it out, give it a good wash. And um I don't think I'll go for a drive this episode. I'll make it next episode, so I'll go over the weekend and um, do some logs and some driving videos, which will be pretty cool. So, pretty confident that this will be out on the road over the weekend. Hmm. I'm logging. Target, so a bit off. Good. Actually, we're good. A little bit lean. A little bit out on the gauge, but that's okay. That's not good. We have a coolant leak. I think it's fitting. I think there's something going on with the power steering down there too. Let's wait for it to cool down there. But it did start up a lot, a lot better than yesterday. Getting there. The, uh, the coolant line on the bottom there had about a quarter of a turn. So hopefully that's fixed it. Got a little bit of coolant going out here. So now a bit of coolant here. And also I saw some smoke coming up out of this power steering sheath. I really hope this line isn't burning. Because that would ruin everything. That would mean I'm not going to secure. I don't think we're leaking, that's the thing. There's nothing on the ground. <laughs> Seriously, it just smells like the paint. Never smelled like that before. It's definitely paint. At the back is a different story. There's not much smell to it. Or the cat. But yeah, it was a bit smoky. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look at the log now and uh, see how that was. Alright guys, I finally got the bolts in the center ones. Um, if you know these, they used to be studs on the TGVs. So I had to find four more bolts, which I got off another Subaru ages ago. But just in my um, toolbox there. Just totally forgot about them. Anyway, uh, yeah. I've Tighten up that coolant there. It's not even hot. I really want to get this out so I can clean up a bit. Alright guys, I haven't hooked up the speed sensor yet. Still not 100% sure. There's a few different ways I can do it. 
Actually, I found a few different wires that say that they're the speed sensor wire. Um, as you can tell, I've got everything off the roof, oh, except for all the leaves. If I go straight back, I should be right. So I'm going to move this crate. It's got my old engine parts in it, so I could do some damage. All right, I'm going to move it for the first time in forever. So I'm going to just go straight back, close the windows and leave it. So, like I've said before, I haven't moved this since rebuilding it, putting your ECU in. So I don't know how the trans the transmission is going to act. Let's start it up and reverse it out. out it's not happy though <clears throat> I don't know if it's just because the transmission's cold oh, what 14.7 target 14.7 got a lot of work to do all right so we can idle we have start up and idle. It wasn't very good at starting up just then. Maybe that's a warm start up. We're at 86 degrees Celsius. I think we might have a vacuum leak. That's the TDO fire. That's not oil smell, that's paint smell. Drains good. Sounds like, sounds like this. Alright guys, so the Foz is finally out of the garage, but I think the TDO5 might be not that good. She's smoky, which obviously uh, goes up into the GT35 and makes the GT35 smoky. I'm pretty sure that's why the exhaust is smoky. I've got a rebuild kit from a while ago. <laughs> I don't know guys. What should I do? I can't drive it to Sakura smoky like that. I had it running for quite a while. It was still smoky. Hmm. 
Maybe not, guys. <sighs> Alright, guys. I'm going to leave this episode here. Tomorrow, I'm just going to wash the car. Tonight, I'm going to clean up the garage. And I'm going to get that back in and rip that Tito 5 off and service it. Because, uh, yeah, she's smoky. It's not the fittings. It's definitely coming from inside. So hopefully I can fix that. Either way, if I don't fix it, I'm not going with a smoky car. So I better fix it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content, please keep watching up here. And I'll catch you next episode. Bye.